I don't think nobody uh, had any issue with it or nobody really thought, you know, anything was wrong with it because he had been with us the entire time in Vegas. He's been getting to work in with us. He's been, you know, getting experiences. That's one less guy that you got to plug in. Damian Lillard says adding Keldon Johnson to Team USA was really a no-brainer in big board sports. Tonight is the 2021 NBA draft from the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York. For the second year in a row, the San Antonio Spurs have a lottery pick with the 12th overall selection. The Spurs failed to make the playoffs for the second straight season after previously possessing one of the longest consecutive postseason streaks in NBA history. The Spurs really need front court help, and some draft analysts feel they should draft center Kai Jones out of Texas. Jones is athletic, runs the floor well, protects the rim, and is capable of defending multiple positions despite his size, which is 6'10". For what he lacks in a solidified low post game, he makes up for with athleticism and defense. So the Spurs will pick 12th overall in round one and then 41st overall with their second round selection. It starts tonight at 7 and is live right here on KSAT 12. Team USA picked up their first win of these summer games, beating Iran 120-66. to Damian Lillard led the offensive charge with a team-high 21 points, scoring all 21 from beyond the three-point line. He was one of six Americans to reach double digits. Team USA also had 10 block shots and 10 steals. Young gun Kelton Johnson played seven minutes, scoring four points. And Lillard digs the Spurs' 21-year-old forward. No, I love him. I love him. I mean, he's a um, good energy. You know, a, a young dude with, with good energy, always, you know, uh, lightening up the room. You know, just joking. You know, he's not shy. He'll, you know, he cares. He works hard. He's competitive. So I think everything that you will want um, in a young player, like being on a team like this or even being on your NBA team, you know, I think is he rep he represents that and he's a good player, you know. So um, the, 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 the laughing every day, you know, him is it's been fun having him around. Kelvin does love to laugh. The U.S. wraps up playing Group A against the Czech Republic Saturday at 7 a.m. local time. San Antonio FC lost 2-1 to one to El Paso last night at Toyota Field, 73rd minute. SAFC down 2-0 when a set-piece delivery from Cam Lindley found the head of Axel Schoberg, who headed home to cut the lead in half. The Alamo City Club would come close to equalizing in the last 20 minutes, but in the end, it just wasn't meant to be. San Antonio is now 4-4-6, four, four and six, so they have a quick turnaround, preparing now for a road trip starting in Austin to face the Bold on Saturday, July 31st. And despite scoring seven runs on nine hits, the mission's bullpen allowed 10 runs last night, and they fall at the Sod Squad 11 to 7. Did you ever play soccer? I did. In you high did. school, a little bit. Those headers. Tell me that didn't hurt. Come on now. I don't really remember them hurting, but maybe that's why I don't. That's why so <laughs> well, they didn't hurt. Is that what you were getting at, David? Not. No, I just. It just <laughs> what about you, David? Then what's. I didn't play what's soccer. The cause? What's your cause? <laughs> 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 it is National Chicken Wing Day, and you know what that means. I'm sure as a live is uh, plucking away. <laughs> there we go. Mike gotta do the chicken now. dance on National Chicken oh, Wing Day. Oh, yes. All right, and we have got some all oh, flavors you are not going to believe. Gold Feather Birds and Beer and Moises Moyagodia is here, and you've come up with some flavors, not just your usual barbecue, mm -hmm. right? Correct, yeah. We're just uh, working with stuff that's like a little bit outside the box, using some creativity from our guests and from our employees, and just I don't know. We just we just want you guys to go enjoy something that's not traditional. And I love this. I love that the people helped you yeah. come up with some yeah. of these. So and we'll, we'll show you those in a bit. Some that have been ranked in like the top two and three in the city as far as wings. Okay, there's also a national day today. It mm -hmm. is for. Mm, your lips. Yes, it we, is. Yes. <laughs> and Millie Monreal with Elsewhere Cosmetics is here. And what are some ways folks can get that perfect pucker, if you will? Well, definitely the best way to get your pucker is going to be through your uh, treatments, your exfoliation, your liners, and topping it the right way. So before you ever put on that lipstick, everything's got to be good on your, your kisser, right? Exactly. <laughs> it's all about the base. All <laughs> right. Hey, Jen is heading up to Kerrville, and she's checking out a fantastic restaurant up there. It has got some wonderful food and also, oh my goodness, that looks good, and a complete wine bar. Great selection. 
And we're going to show you all the family summer fun you can still have over at SeaWorld Aquatica, along with some animal interactions. And back to the National Chicken Wing Day, it is one of the great debates. No, not ranch versus blue cheese. Blue cheese for me. It is, do you like the drum or do you like the flat? Flat or flap? Flat or flap or the drum. Either okay. or. You know, the one with the little second phone is something like this. So, which one is it? We'll get this all sorted out, I think. Yes, weigh in now at SA Live Case Out on Facebook and Twitter. Just coming into our KSL 12 newsroom, Baptist Health System is updating its safety COVID protocols. They are now requiring all employees at its five San Antonio hospitals to be vaccinated for COVID-19. The new policy will require that all San Antonio BHS staff, including physicians, medical residents, fellows, trainees, contractors, medical staff, students, and volunteers be vaccinated. Now, people who will be allowed to get an exception for medical or religious reasons, however, they may have to take strict precautions like frequent testing. I'm sure other companies will probably adopt similar protocols. That's going to do it for now. It's chicken day, and that chicken. means ooh, chicken, chicken dancing. Chicken wing day. Chicken wing day. It's chicken Your dance. favorite. Oh, uh, okay, let's get on with it. It starts right now. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from Historic Market Square. This is SA Live. Oh, the week is just flying by on a wing and a prayer. <laughs> you know what? Let's get rid of the script so we can wing it today. <laughs> That's two. That's two. And, uh, um, ladies and gentlemen, he'll be here hmm. at least for the next 45 or so minutes. Let's see if I can come up with another <laughs> wing pun here in just one minute. Yeah, <laughs> National Wing Day. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Mike Osterhage. Oh, Fiona Gorsteza, it's your line. I was trying, well, I was trying to think of another <laughs> one. So, hey, San Antonio-based restaurant is serving a fried chicken craft beer and a family-friendly atmosphere. What more can you ask for? Look at those delicious wings. <laughs> and joining us from Gold Feather Birds and Beer is co-owner and chef Miguel Mayagotia. Hello. How are you, sir? Good, good, What's good. What's your great, great best wing pun? Uh, Midnight Cowboy, I think. The, the, you get a like wing and a prayer pun type thing? Oh, no, no, no. I think that's which one. He's going to leave that to you. He's going to leave that to me. He's going to leave that to you. Leave that to the you, go, you go, you go. So, <laughs> how are you celebrating National Chicken Wing Day? <sighs> Just open to close and sell in as many wings as we can. Okay, because <laughs> Pretty you, have, simple. you have four yeah. brand new sauces. Yes. Okay, and what are they? Okay, so the first one you see here, mm -hmm. that's our Midnight Cowboy. Mm -hmm. It's pretty spicy, tossed in your, it's called Slap Your Mama sauce, drizzled with Old Smoky fresh jalapenos. And then we have a, what's our take on uh, orange chicken, kind of like a Chinese sauce. And then this one's kind of like, this one brings it home, like a San Antonio sauce because it's heavy on the chamoy. It's mm -hmm. a hot and chamoy mix, and then we're drizzling it with um, Gold Rush and chamoy. And then the final one over there is Sasquatch barbecue. So it's, it's honey barbecue, and then we drizzle it in hot. And that's uh, going back to one of those sauces that one of our guests came up with. They were just like, can you mix hot and barbecue? And we're like, uh, whatever. Okay, okay, so okay. which one are we starting with? The, uh, yeah, the Sasquatch, Sasquatch barbecue? Yeah, okay. let's do that. So yeah, very little, simple, yeah. A little bit of this in here. Go, go heavy, okay. yeah. Just like that, and yes, then sir. toss a couple of wings in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go like this, and, and you came up with these sauces, again, not just by, you know, oh, everybody's got lemon pepper or something like that, but people say, hey, how about doing yeah. this, right? Yeah, we have a lot of guests that come in and they'll just work off of our menu and, and mix sauces together or mm -hmm. ideas they have from somewhere else. And we're like, all right, we'll do it. So if they make a good suggestion, <laughs> yeah. you'll say, all I mean, right, I mean, we'll try it. When they, do it when they do it, I'll try them. And I'm like, yeah. hey, this is actually pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and you say the most popular ones are usually the ones with a little bit of spice, a little bit of heat, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Usually okay. some okay. It's got that barbecue flavor, a little bit of sweetness to it. Yep. Very nice, kind of smooth, not overpowering, very tasty. Mm. Love it, okay. All right, what's the next one? And then that one just gets drizzled with hot, like you see over there, but that's okay. So this one over here is, uh, we call it like the oh boy chamoy for now. Okay. One, okay. Of my, one of my chefs came up with that. So that's tossed in this one right here. This one? That's a chamoy hot. Okay. And then grab a few. Mm -hmm. So is this one of the suggestions from customers? Yes, that's <laughs> well, a couple of people. I mean, okay. Mm -hmm. well, what? what? About how many different flavors <laughs> do you have? And can if somebody dreams of something, go, hey, can I do this and this? You can do it. Yeah, I, I, I never turn down any of our guests if okay. they want something. Um, if we can do it, we'll do it for them. So then all you have to do is garnish it with this and this, just a little drizzle. That's just all gold rush. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. And that's okay. got turmeric in it, you said, right? Mm -hmm. Correct, yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, Fire. okay. Yeah. And that's the one with some, with some heat. Yes, I'm going to yeah, need, gonna need, gonna need, gonna need, need so one of those. Go okay. for that one. Okay. And you were on a little earlier in the year, and your business is still pretty new. How has business been kind of picking up uh, this summer? It's, it's, been, it's been good. It's been picking up. I mean, we're going uh, September 12th will be a full year that we've been open. So, I mean, we were able to weather the storm so far. And uh, no, it's been good. I mean, we've been good to the community. The community's been great to us. And, you know, we're looking for location number two, mm -hmm. uh, Bolverde and Evans, coming soon. Oh, okay. Way and out there on the far north side, because yeah. you're right over there by uh, Park North. Yes, sir. Blank uh, Blanco and 410. Just yeah. inside 410, right as you're kind of turning in there, it's just right yeah, there. Yeah, I mean, uh, we're right next door to uh, Target, to Panda Express, right in that area right okay. there. So. How's that one? It was, it's got some heat. Does it? <laughs> it's, it's a little tangy. It's, okay. tang it's, it's, tang it's, it's different, but if yeah. you're into that Shimoy style flavor, you'll really like it. All right, we got the orange mm -hmm. chicken in there, so toss a couple in there with that one. Yeah. And other than wings on the menu, what else do you have? I mean, we're honestly, I think we're 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 known more for our sandwiches. Last mm -hmm. time we were here, we had the Good Morning America, which was kind of like the the sandwich with the egg and the yes. and the hash yes. brown. I don't know if you remember. And then we also had <laughs> <laughs> that that wing flew out away from there. <laughs> and and that's why you have the you had to on. So nobody saw that, right? <laughs> Hey, I'll tell you what, gold feather, more information on gold feather birds and beers. We're going to enjoy some of these wings here. It Go to right SALive.com <laughs> and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. And we are going to be talking more about some of those great sandwiches that they have. And also, they've got growlers of beer and some of the prices that you aren't going to yeah, believe. We are going to be talking about that a little bit later on in the show. All right, big question right now, though, is <clears throat> what do you like better? <laughs> I'm so glad I was wearing this. Dry no. <laughs> the drum or the flat? And Miguel, which is your favorite? Drum or flat? Uh, I got a lean drum. Drum? drum? I got a lean drum. Just I'm more me, and it's easier to dunk if you're going to put it in the branch or something like that. I don't know, you dig, you, if you dig the, little, the second little bone out of the, the flat, that's pretty good too. But yeah. hey, as long as there's a plate full of them, that's fine with me. But let us know, what do you like best? Is it the drum or the flat? Mm -hmm. yes. You're going to need some wet wipes. Yes, all right. So let us know as I like case out on Facebook and Twitter, and we'll see how that shakes down a little later in the show. All right. Well, Celebrity Fan Fest 2021 at Six Flags was supposed to start this weekend, but unfortunately, due to the recent spike of COVID cases, the event has been canceled. All Celebrity Fan Fest admission tickets and passes, autographs and photo op purchases will be 100% refunded within 30 days. Now, Six Flags Fiesta Texas will still grant any Celebrity Fan Fest ticket holder admission into their park free of charge from Friday, July 30th to Sunday, August 8th. KSAT.com has provided an article where you can find all the details about the cancellation. Okay, one of the celebrities who was supposed to come in here for Celebrity Fan Fest, uh, Sam Jones, best known for his role in Flash Gordon. He was also, if you remember the movie 10 with Bo Derek, he was Bo Derek's husband in that movie. They got married and he was on the surfboard and sunburn and all that stuff. Anyway, not to let the, uh, you know, give away the plot of the movie. But anyway, <laughs> I had a chance to chat with him before this was all canceled yesterday about how he got into acting and some upcoming projects too. So take a look. Sam Jones, good to see you, sir. It's good to see you, Mike. First of all, uh, reading on your bio, and I had forgotten about this, going back to the beginning of your career, you were Bo Derek's husband in 10. That is correct. That was my first film, 1978. And, and Mike, do you remember who directed that? Uh, uh, yes, um, Julie Andrews' husband. Blake, Blake Edwards, Blake thank you. Edwards. Yes. Unbelievable. Great. And we had Dudley Moore, yeah, Julie Andrews, uh, Blake Edwards. It was incredible. Yeah. Yeah, the the classic Blake Edwards understated physical comedy in that movie was fantastic. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. We, well, yeah, we had to go some. We, we filmed at some horrible locations in Hawaii. Can you imagine being in Hawaii for two months? And then, of course, this incredible resort in Las Hadas, Manzanillo, Mexico, which it, I'm being facetious, obviously. It was beautiful. I mean, just for, the, for, for being on my first film, it was a huge blessing. And getting really work with Bo Derek, too. Yeah, I remember she was a complete unknown at the time. Okay, and obviously, then- it was my first film, yeah. And then right after that, you were cast in Flash Gordon. Yes, and Blake had a lot to do with that, believe it or not. Um, he found out that Dino De Laurentiis wanted to interview me immediately. And, um, and I didn't go and ask him. He just found out. I don't know how I found out. But we're in Hawaii, 
And here's what he did to, to, to get me to, to that interview. He hired a private helicopter to get me to Honolulu Airport to fly me to uh, you know Beverly Hills, LA on time for that interview. And he was just incredible. <laughs> and, and the rest they say is history and big thanks to Blake Edwards, obviously. Yeah, yeah it's wonderful, yeah. Okay. It was a long process. I mean, it still went on for another eight or nine months of uh, interviews and auditioning, but that, that was the initial interview and it, it really, uh, Blake helped catapult that. And it, it must have been, even though I had a very small part in Blake's movie, I, I think it was uh, very impressionable that he found out I was flown in, private helicopter, and then uh, straight to straight there that Blake Edwards did that. So I, I think it helped. Very you know, cool story. Around. But what does it feel like that you are so well known for, you know, movies that, you know, still everybody thinks of you from Flash Gordon, and that was made a long time ago. That's pretty cool. Yeah, you know, I, I refer to Flash Gordon, uh, Mike, as the triple blessing. The first blessing, obviously, is getting hired in any industry. Second blessing is if that project we do turns out really well and succeeds. And the third blessing is why I'm here now, longevity. Amen to that. Any uh, projects coming up in the future, acting-wise? Yeah, we, we, we've done four uh, independent films. Uh, two of them are out. Uh, one, uh, hopefully, you have to see. And we're waiting for two more. But Life After Flash, the documentary is incredible. I really cover some uh, do's and don'ts. I, I really, they call it Life After Flash. I call it the do's and don'ts of life. And I, I really lay it out for the guys about if you make this decision, these are the consequences that are gonna follow, and this is really how you need to deal with those consequences. Amen to that. And I would be remiss not to point out, former Marines, Semper Fi, sir. Yes, that's right. Semper Fi to you as well. Thank but no such thing as a former, you know. The next truth. year, Next year, in my mind, I am celebrating my 50th year, 50th year as a Marine. <laughs> Good talking with you, Sam. Same here. Need the things we do. We move through their crowds and they're unaware. Later on in the show, local musician Chuck Weimer performs his new music for us. And next, we enjoy a glam up from a local cosmetics line, Elsewhere Cosmetics. Hey, local makeup line Elsewhere Cosmetics was founded just a short two years ago in 2019 right here in the Alamo City. It promotes inclusivity, diversity, and accessibility through cosmetics. And joining us to talk about it is its owner, Millie Monreal. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. And we have seen you on tape many times. Yes, so good to have you in yes, person. Yes, we're in person. It feels really good. It really does. <laughs> so let's talk about what cosmetics you offer. Okay, so Elsewhere Cosmetics offers just a little bit for everybody, to be honest. Um, um, so we started with lipsticks and then we moved into eyeshadow palettes um, and then graphic liners for more of the artistic and um, eyelashes and then now we're getting more into like skin care. So we're starting up with like our body butters and also our whipped foaming scrubs. Okay, we'll talk more about that in a second, but National Lipstick Day and like you said, that's the first one. So uh, once again, the best way to make your lipstick last and, and to get it on correctly. Yes, yeah, just like our logo, the pucker face, uh, we always want to achieve the best pucker with our lipstick and that pretty much um, means that um, you have to start with the base, you know, like I always say, it's about what's under in order to make what's on top pop. So it, um, as you can see today, I have like different exfoliants from different brands, as well as lip treatments that you can use along with your lip balm. And um, in order to get more of like a nice look, you have your liners. A lot of people also want more of a plumping feel. So there's also products out there that offer like a plump um, uh, like a look to your lipstick so you can add it or just use it alone. Oh, okay. Yeah. So exfoliating your lips, all, you know, of course, important before you even apply the lipstick, right? That's exactly. a way to make it just really last and, and look great all day. But you could also exfoliating the rest of your body, right? Yes, and I'm so happy that you bring that up. So um, now let me just add, it is so great to be here in person because now you can actually see the products And get person. to try them too. Yeah, exactly. Right. So um, today I brought the, um, our body butter as well as our foaming whipped scrub, and, um, which is called cake batter and whipped. So in order to use it, super simple, you're gonna wet your hands just a little bit. Okay. Okay. All right, now apply your whipped scrub. It's just like a soap. 
and you just scrub it. And you and can feel like the, the sugar oh, yeah. is, yeah. Now back to your oh. lips, you would not want to use this on your lips. You would want to use something different on your lips because it is exactly. different skin, right? Exactly. So something like this that is for the body because of what's in it, maybe like larger granules of sugar or mm -hmm. all the fragrance in there. No, it could be a little bit toxic. But there are specialized lip scrubs out there. And in fact, you can probably make your own at home by just using coconut oil and brown sugar. You oh, know, okay. if you do this long enough, Mike, it'll look like you never worked a hard day in your life. I know. <laughs> <laughs> get, get rid of some of those little brown spots too if we can. So, now, do you want to dry hands or just put this yes, on Yes, you wet? want to dry your hands right now. Okay. So now you've done exfoliated them. And so now the same concept is with your lips. You're going to exfoliate and then go ahead and treat them with the balm, um, with the body butter for here for your hands. And then you're gonna notice with the body butter, it's gonna start to warm up and almost become like a nice, smooth oil. And this mm -hmm. one right here is rainbow sherbet, so I don't oh, know if you can it smell it. So <laughs> <good>. <laughs> yes. It does, it, oh, that smells good. I know. <laughs> it does. It smells so good. <laughs> it does, right? Oh, it, it makes your mouth water. That, and yeah. I actually, um, it became very popular. Uh, this, I, I guess now that we're um, able, like, you know, there's more things opening up, I'm able to do pop up shops and go around and finally see San Antonio and be a part of San Antonio. So whenever I take this out of the community, that's the first thing that comes up is the smell that brings you over to the pop-up table. I can't mm. stop touching my own hands. I know. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. All right. Hey, tell folks how to find you. All right. Uh, the best way to find me is going to be uh, Facebook and Instagram at Elsewhere Cosmetics or elsewherecosmetics.com. And head to salive.com to click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, tab, and we have provided a link. So good to finally meet you, Millie. Hey, still yeah, ahead, we eat a new spicy chicken sandwich from Gold Feather Birds and Beers. We're going to try out some new drinks that they have on the menu as well. Yes. We need the things we do. We move through their crimes and they're unaware. And next, Chuck Weimer performs his new music for us ahead of his weekend shows. Don't miss it. Chuck Weimer is a country singer-songwriter and U.S. Army veteran. His last single, Home Run, spent nine weeks at number one on the Texas Internet Radio chart, but he's here to perform his new single. First of all, welcome, well, and thank, thank you. you so much for being here, and thank you for your service. Oh, that was my pleasure. Okay, it's yeah. great to have you back here in studio at Market Square, because you were on our show via Zoom earlier this year, and we, you know, we got to see you perform virtually, mm -hmm. but now you're on the road this summer, so what What's it like? I mean, just to be out there again performing live. Oh well, we never really stopped. We were, we lucked out. A lot of the places that I play at, they were, uh, you know, they had all their their measures in place, and we were able to keep on playing. But seeing people come out again is what's really cool. Being able to, you know, have interaction with the fans and actually see them smile instead of, you know, wondering what looks like below the eyes. So yeah, it's been real good. We've been having a good time. And let's talk about your latest single over here. Over here. Um, so, as you said, I was in the military. I did 13 years, and uh, I can't even call it service. I played with dogs for 13 years. It was a great time. Um, but I got to see some things that the human human is not supposed to see. You know, your people just aren't meant to see certain things. And, and I know there's a lot of people that saw a lot worse stuff than I did. So when I wrote this song, it was basically to, to give everybody an idea, hey, you're not alone. Other people have been there. And don't forget that you can reach out to people that have sh similar experiences. Even though you can't share it with your family, you can still, you have brothers and sisters that you can share it with. Yeah, and of course, in Military City USA, you know, that's yeah. really going to have an impact. So you can, of course, watch Chuck Weimer perform live at Fralo's Pizza. That's Friday from 7 to 10 p.m. And on Saturday at River Rose Tavern up there in Canyon Lake from 6.30 to 8.30. And his music is available everywhere. Music is sold. Performing over here is Chuck Weimer. Said goodbye. We get on our plane, seen you cry. Don't know if we'll be back again. They say it's all. Place they've got us going, but we take comfort in knowing you're on our side. We do our job, sometimes with heart, sometimes with gun, sometimes it's all. Oh, but we still have our fun when times are dark. 
There's still a job that needs a doing. So we push right on through until it's done. But they don't talk like we talk or need the things we do. We move through their crowds and they're unaware. We've got wars on both sides. We keep to ourselves. Staying quiet don't mean that we don't care. It feels like we're not wanted over here. We get home. Reunited with our family, we're still alone. Cause we can't share what we've been through, we hold it in. They say that we have a disorder, cause the media reporter can't explain. But they don't talk like we talk, we need the things we do. We move through their crimes and they're unaware. We've got wars on both sides. We keep to ourselves. Staying quiet don't mean that we don't care. It feels like we're not wanted over here. And the politicians say we'll never win. But I was proud to serve my country and I'd do it all again. Where people talk like I talk, need the things I do. I move through their crowds and I'm aware. I've got wars on both sides. I keep to myself I know I don't say much but I still care even if I'm still not wanted over here even if I'm still not wanted over here oh I wish that I was wanted over here Welcome back to SA Live. We are getting spicy with our chicken, thankfully. We've got some growlers here to cool us down. Oh, yes, and some other good beverages to cool us down, too. Joining us once again from Gold Feather Birds and Beers is co owner and chef Miguel <laughs> Mayagotia. How are you once again? And what are we making now? We have those great wings on National Wing Day. Time for the spicy tatanka. The tatanka <laughs> dances with wolves. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> so, what all is on this sandwich? Okay, so you're starting to, you're starting off with a King's Hawaiian, uh, it's a sweet roll, it's mm -hmm. delicious. And it's got a, a breaded chicken, American cheese. The red sauce is a spicy buffalo, the slap your mama sauce that we use. Okay. And then we're gonna cool it down with some uh, house-made ranch and some <laughs> kosher pickles. Really not a whole lot to it, but it's delicious. But uh, you, you think about all the different layers because you got the sweet of the Hawaiian, the real hot spicy right. sauce, the, the ranch in there, the tang of the pickles, the smoothness of the cheese. Yeah. I mean, all these different flavors coming together, right? Yeah, it fires. It's so good. It's okay. Ooh, that looks like it's going to be messy. It's, it's gonna be messy. really, I'm really gonna, good. Hold on, okay. I got to spear it. Spear it mm -hmm. on down. There you go. Take a big old bite. I, I'm, baby, I'm, so. on, I'm on it. I'm all right. on it. And then to cool it down, what do we have here? That is our watermelon frosé. I don't know if I made it. Go ahead. Okay. Mm. How is it? Oh, it's so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Fiona's trying not to mess up that shirt since you have to go shoot something yeah. after this show today. So, and what's the uh, watermelon frosé made out of? Uh, we use uh, mm. Moen and watermelon, mm -hmm. and then we have our partners from uh, Ranch Brands who who provide the wine, um, and then we just dress it up with some candies. Okay, and then of course these are for the grown-ups, but you've got plenty, <laughs> yeah. of, uh, plenty of things to drink it, for the little it, ones. That's a 10-ounce well. glass, but it, it goes a long way. It's mm. It packs a punch. Mm, thank there you. you go. You no have more. napkins. So. I have napkins. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. This is what you need. Napkins, wet wipes, but oh, it's so worth it. Oh, that's very It's got a nice little taint of yeah, wine-based, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. It's wine-based. <clears throat> yes, sir. Yeah. 
The, you know, kind of an unexpected little nice little wine flavor mm -hmm. on the back. So mm -hmm. that's pretty good to wash that thing down, isn't it? So, all right. That's Speaking of beverages, <laughs> y'all are spoiling me right now. Starting <laughs> Tuesday, even though it's just August, Oktoberfest yes. is kicking in, right? Yeah. So uh, our partners with uh, Sam Adams, and what we're going to do is we ordered a, a ton of uh, half barrel kegs, and we're going to be selling growler fills for ten dollars of Sam Adams Oktoberfest. So it, it's pretty much at cost, and then these are the new growlers. You can bring your own growler, or I mean, these are the ones that just came out, the new design. Mm -hmm. We sell them for eight dollars, and the fill is ten bucks. And so, I mean, that's two bucks, two and a half bucks for a pint of yeah. beer. Yeah, you're, you're you're basically getting that cost. You can't beat that. Yeah. And just slowly turn that, leave it in place right there, so people mm -hmm. can see all the different. I mean, it's great of all the landmarks downtown. Yeah. It's like an ode to so, San Antonio. So yeah. cool on that. It's and you're cool. located over there in Park North, just kind of sort of not attached to, but next to... On the to lower a, part, the lower on, part of the Park North, yeah. On uh, next to a Target. Target and Panda, yeah. Right there along uh, Blanco, and you're going to hopefully open soon a new location on the yes. Park side. Yeah, we're going uh, out there to uh, Boulevard and Evans. So All right. So well, head nice. on over and celebrate National Wing Day over there at Goldfeather Birds and Beers. Head on over to SALive.com. Click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. So good to see you, Miguel. Thank you very much. Appreciate you guys so much. <laughs> well, it's a day trip for some delicious food. We're taking you to the Texas Hill Country to a family-owned spot that's serving quality wine and creative menu items. Yep, Jen Tobias-Drusky is heading up I-10 into Kerrville. Take a look. <laughs> started grape juice as a retail wine shop and it was our approach to wine it was just grape juice we were trying to take the snobbiness out of it always used the term five stars and flip-flops so always wanted to have the best of the best but I wanted you being comfortable in here doing it located about an hour north of San Antonio you'll find grape juice owners Carrie and Patrick Wilt are all about sharing their love for wine and good eats the Texas country way. We took things, you know, with a twist. We do a lot of wild game here. Since we're in the hill country, we think it just makes sense. But burgers, sliders, burritos, nachos, but we top it all with wild game. So it's just kind of our twist on things. And many of the bottles you'll find in their retail store are from places they visited. And so to simplify this room, we've broken it down into countries more or less. We have Italy, we have France, we have uh, most of the United States. And now time to eat. From beer cheese nachos with pulled pork, tacos, how about ahi tuna with a side of cream corn? It has pickled carrots on top and avocado. When we realized how popular it was, it was one of those like, why don't we have this on the menu? And and we gave the recipe to our staff in the back and then they basically what we call grape juicified it. So we added the smoked jalapenos and kind of kicked it up to another uh, another degree. To a quail salad. Mango melon salad, this is our seasonal salad of the moment. We change that out about every four to five times a year. Um, this one has watermelon, cucumber, mint, feta, and a mango dressing. And it, this one is topped with diamond aged quail, which is local out of Bandera. And the special, this week, the soft shell crab sandwich with macaroni grape juice style. It is basically macaroni and cheese that's completely 100% addicting. Use a smoked Gouda and then there's also roasted tomatoes and ham and onions in there as well. So with this panko breadcrumb on top that it's like everything you loved about mac and cheese as a kid growing up, but like just a little bit grown up. Speaking of addicting, these Brussels sprouts, one of the customer favorites on the menu. And you probably never had a Frito pie yes. like this. I always tell people if they're eating it, you better have a nap scheduled. Now we can't get through the entire menu in this story, but you get the idea. Every time you come in here, there's something new on the menu, uh, whether it's the wine list, the beer list, the menu itself. When COVID hit, you know, of course we were all scared, um, but I really wanted to make sure that we just put as much positivity out in the world as we possibly could. So when you come to Grape Juice, you'll see that our windows out front are painted crazy and fun. Um, even our to-go uh, orders, whenever you get a to-go order, uh, it comes with a joke of the day um, just because we wanted to give you that just one little extra bit. One of the great things about grape juice is that we were kind of already set up for social distancing um, within the restaurant before it was even a thing. There's also an outdoor area where you can sit outside. 
They also have a to-go wine flight where you can do a pairing and tasting virtually. You call in, you reserve your spot, and on Saturday of the tasting, you come in and you pick up your wines to go. You get six ounces of each wine. There'll be four wines in the package, and you'll get a tasting sheet here. And then at seven o'clock Saturday evenings, you go on to our Facebook page, and uh, both my wife and I will be there conducting a tasting on the wines. Definitely worth the drive up to Kerrville. Every little dollar helps. Whether you're getting a, a cup of coffee from a mom and pop coffee shop or you're buying a taco from the mom and pop taco stand or you're coming to Grape Juice and get ordering a case of wine to go, um, every little bit helps right now just keep the wheel turning in a time where folks are really struggling. Well, I've had such an amazing time experiencing all the delicious food and wine here at Grape Juice. Now, they are at 75% capacity, so they do recommend making a reservation if you're going to come out here to the Hill Country. And again, remember, the river is just right behind me. For more information, just head over to salive.com and click the As Seen on SA Live tab. Cheers! Next on SA Live, feed, pet, and play with marine life. We take you out to SeaWorld and Aquatica for some summer fun swimming with stingrays. Well, the weekend is basically here, and if you're looking for some really good summer fun, you might be surprised by all the things that you could do out there at SeaWorld San Antonio's Aquatica. The water park is just the beginning, and you can even get up close and personal with some sea creatures. Check it out. Well, there is still plenty of summer fun left to have at SeaWorld and Aquatica. And how about a splash and good time? Joining me right now is Janelle Baca, supervisor of the aquarium here at Aquatica. Thank you so much for having us. What have we got splashing around behind us? So we have about 150 cow nose stingrays. Those are our beautiful brown ones swimming behind us. We've got lots of tropical fish guitar fish and don't forget our spotted eagle rays all right here at k ray reef inside aquatica so people can really get up close with these stingrays right absolutely we have a couple of different ways that people can interact depending on your comfort level right some people just want to look from afar and that's okay you can come up to our wall see our stingrays maybe get a little splash of some salt water right or you can reach in and touch them along their backs or you can even feed them, which we'll do in a little bit, right? And then you can even get in the water and do an encounter program for all ages. There's no age limit to it. Or if you're brave enough, you can go on Stingray Falls, go on a family raft ride, which ends in our tunnel where you see all of the fish and rays from underwater. It's a great experience, lots of different ways to interact with our beautiful animals. So you mentioned feeding the stingrays. You yes. mentioned the stingray encounter. Yes. For folks that don't really know what that encounter is, tell us a little bit about what they get to experience. So you'll get to wade in the water. So you'll enter our area where you'll have stingrays, kind of like a bunch of little puppies, all swarming around your legs. You'll be able to touch them, feed them, and get an up-close experience and kind of dispel some of those myths about stingrays being harmful. Our stingrays are, you know, free of their barbs. We make sure it's a safe interaction for people of all ages, all sizes. All right, so we've got some shrimp. <laughs> we have our shrimp, yes. One of their favorites. We only do shrimp day once a week, and it is going to be the, the favorite of all these rays. Watch this. Come okay. on, guys. And you're holding it. Yeah, we're going to keep our fingers wrapped around it. That way we don't confuse the rays with where their food is. They yes. know it's going to be right here on top. Okay. We're going to place it down in the water, and the stingray is going to swim over the top of our hand just like that. <laughs> and like a vacuum, they suck it right out of our hand. Nom, nom. Oh, you got it. Yay! <laughs> so as I mentioned, we have 150 cow nose rays here, and we feed them about 70 pounds of food of restaurant quality seafood every single day. So if folks want to feed the stingrays, how do they go about it? So we have our feeder booth here where we prep our trays of food each morning and we'll have those trays available throughout the day. It's $5 per tray and like I said, it varies on the food. Um, sometimes we have shrimp or different oh, varieties of fish as well. So beyond all the animal encounters and feedings, which I got to do with the stingrays, Amazing. very cool, all the water park fun to have. And Lise Collins, Vice President of Aquatica, joins me to talk about the family fun you can have here. 
So anything from the serene to the extreme, we have it all here at Aquatica. We have a beautiful wave pool behind us, resort pools. We have our drop tower that started, that came here in 2019. <laughs> so the floor drops out underneath you. Our brand new Tonga Twister, our Aqualucent slide. Race your whole family down to Mata Racer or just have fun and relax in the lazy river. And families or couples or friends or whoever you want to bring with you can really make a day of it here, right? Yeah, you can reserve a cabana for the day. You can go the whole shebang, get a meal delivered to you with drinks and all that. We have three bars, plenty of things for all the whole family to enjoy. Lots of time to relax and just enjoy your summer. Well, Lise, thank you so much. Absolutely a pleasure to be here. So come on out and enjoy the summer fun here at Aquatica. For more information, all you have to do is go to AquaticaSanAntonio.com. Like, am I supposed to tell? All right, hey, you have a chance to win a family four pack of tickets to SeaWorld at Aquatica. To enter, go to SALive.com and look for the article. Earlier, we asked you, uh, what's better, chicken drumsticks or flats or flaps or whatever you, you want to call it? Vote for flats right mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. You know, if you get that, again, get that little bit. Why choose as long as you don't try to pass off boneless wings? Those are chicken nuggets, not wings. Good point. I like that one. Flats. And Melissa says flats. Back wow. up. Flats. Wow, I had no idea there were so many flats out there. It's totally Money flats. Said, no, why? It's totally flats. No other. I'm wow! Both for me, for Mary Jane, and those look good. They were good. <laughs> yes. J J oh, oh, and there we go. Drumsticks drumstick. from Michelle. I'm kind of just wings, wings in general. From I'm kind of surprised it's so one sided. Yeah. Hmm. Flats from Christina. Flats and from is Tina. It? Lupita. Flats. Peter, honestly, I don't care because I like boneless more. <laughs> And again, ranch and or uh, blue cheese. Hey, this gentleman right here, our producer, <laughs> Robert, it is his birthday today. <laughs> oh. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Happy birthday, sir. Thanks, guys. Thanks, mm -hmm. guys. Obviously, you're off work right now. So. Yes, yes. But I came in to make Bird. sure I got my cake. Yes. <laughs> I was not going to my cake. made this. If you want to get a slice of his birthday cake, either run down here real quick. No, I'm kidding. Or <laughs> head on out to her place over there at Rolling, Rolling Oaks Mall. Small. And you can just ask for a slice of Robert's birthday cake. It is a four-layer confetti cake, but it's her take on the milk bar cake. And how old are you? Oh, God. 29 again. Mm -hmm. 29 again? I'll take 29. <laughs> yeah. 29 a little again. more, but I'll, I'll take and that. Who's your favorite SA Live host? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it's the. It's not his first row. The Mike Ona is my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> I think we have a little bit of a video here about Robert. Hey. <laughs> Big dog lover, obviously. Yes, yes, yes.